Hey everybody, welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. In today's episode, Dad and Wiley face one of the toughest pieces of equipment they've ever worked on. It's gonna be interesting to see if they can figure it out. Stick around and let's find out. How about you, I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with me today. What's up, buddy? Hey, good morning. Doing all right? Yeah, doing better. You got us in the shade I on this project. I got us in the shade, man, I'm telling you. Uh, you know, I always want to do things. I want to take care of you, Wiley. Well, thank you. I, I you know. appreciate it. I mean, getting seniors. <laughs> Sen assisted. You're getting senile. Is senile, what I need some assisted <laughs> That's right. Man, what a beauty we got here, dude. What we got here is a, a mid-60s model Diamond Rio. Right. I was telling Wiley, this is actually the first Diamond Rio I've ever seen in real life. You know, I've seen some on the computer and the gonculator and stuff, but this is the first one. It's got a Cummings in it. We're gonna try to cut, fire up this Cummings. We'll see what kind of Cummings it's got in it. Right. We're not gonna put a tire on it. No. <laughs> but we will, let's see if we can dump it. Let's see if we can get the bed to dump. Nope. And uh, I, think, I think that would be pretty cool. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna kind of walk around it. I'll show you what all we see as we see it and, uh, and, and go from there. We're in the great peach state of Georgia uh, doing this video, so we think it's pretty cool. Actually, before we get into this project, let me give you a little bit of the history of the Diamond Rio Truck Company. So check this out. Hey, let's go over just a little bit of the Diamond Rio Company history. Man, I'm telling you, it's, it's really awesome to go back and look at this piece of history. This is a 1966 machine, right? Well, that means it's really, really early in the Diamond Rio uh, lineage, I guess you would say. So Diamond Rio actually became a Diamond Rio truck company in 1967. So this is probably one of the first Diamond Rios that they've made. It was actually a combination between the Diamond T truck company and the Rio subsidiary or the Rio uh, department, I don't know what you would call it, of the, of the White Motor Corporation back in 1967. These two got together and made the Diamond Rio truck. You can actually trace the roots back all the way to 1904 when Mr. Olds, who founded the Oldsmobile Company, actually introduced the Diamond T truck company. Well, fast forward from 1967 to 1971, there's a gentleman in Birmingham, Alabama actually bought the Diamond Rio company and started producing it. Didn't last very long though. In 1974, that company actually filed for bankruptcy. So it was a short three year stint for the gentleman in Alabama. After they filed for bankruptcy in 1974, in 1975, a group from Pennsylvania actually got them out of the bankruptcy court and started producing the Diamond Rio trucks again. Now they made these trucks all the way up until 2010. So <laughs> they done a little better than the gentleman from Alabama, right? So they actually went all the way through 2010 with the production of the trucks, and they were producing like 10 trucks a day out of that Pennsylvania plant. So they continued the line up through 2010, and then they also made the parts up until 2013. You could st They were still making parts then, and then they finally just ceased the whole entire operation. So that's just a little bit of the history of the Diamond Rio truck company and how they came to be. A, man, what a, what a neat truck this is, right? This is a beautiful find. Uh, there's some things happen in the video that Let's just say I made a bad decision. Uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes you gotta own up to bad decisions, right? Uh, we, we didn't do something that uh, I should have, um, but nonetheless, I mean, watch the video. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, Wiley, let's take a look at this thing. It's an old city truck of some, some sort. Yeah, that's it, nice. Or county, county, city, state. Oh yeah, this has got the info here, Hank. The 1411. Get, hey, what's the 1411 on this? Yeah, old. Oh, there it is right there. Property of City of Bainbridge, Georgia, inventory number. There you go. Here's your plate. I can't see that. My dude. goodness. 1252. Is that the inventory number? Yeah. Let me show, I'm going to show the viewer something they've never seen before. You in glasses? <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's see. A model 10166. There's the serial number, something 182, oh, probably 182 horsepower at 3,200 RPMs, 53-900 here, and then some engine 6-2-something, 6F-235 for the back axle, or front axle. Anyway, okay, that's the history on some of this, the Diamond Rio Truck Company. I'm going to climb up here. How many of you guys wear glasses, readers? I can see pretty good until I get that small print. Uh, got an emergency shut off there or some type of emergency air valve of some sort. Got a key. Hey, Wiley. Hey. It's got a key in it, buddy. Oh, it'll crank. Yeah. Here's a push button start. Some type of maybe a 
light, the chicken lights or something. Uh, let's see. Air pressure gauge, lights, temp, fuel gauge. Oh, yeah. 27,240 miles over here. Hey, look at this door latch. <laughs> custom, custom door custom. latch. Custom. Yeah, that's all right, right there. Five speed, or six speed, I guess that would be probably with a granny. Got a PTO on it. Look at that, hey, look at that. Cummings is leaned up in there. Yeah, mounted. The old slant, the old slant six. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, that was a joke. Anyway, all right, well, we're gonna fire this thing up, dude. This is pretty cool, it's a piece of history. Hey, if any of the viewers know somebody that worked the city of Bainbridge back in the yes. early 70s. <laughs> Let us hey, know. this thing was probably in commission up till... Oh yeah, the 90s. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it was in the 90s. All right, let's fire this hood up. Well, hold this for a second. Hey, look at here. Uh, what is that? Oh, is that the oil? Yeah. <laughs> Out here in the elements? Right. All right, we're going to take that too. That's neat. That was, they had great engineers back then. <laughs> wow, oh, look at this. Incredible. What do they call these gold wings? Bat wings. Bat wings. Wow. This is awesome, dude. Oh, gosh, dude. Oh, it's... I'm done breaking this thing. Check this out, Wiley. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to really fight the walls. <laughs> Uh, I don't really know what kind of, I would say it's a Cummins. Yeah, it is. Oh, man, dude. Don't worry about that hood, I'll catch it. Yeah, but it's gonna like literally fall off the truck. We're here, hold it, I'll get on the other side if you want to. We'll set it down while we're cranking it. All uh, right. All right, I got it. There you go. That's all there. I had some power steering at one point. Ta-da! Way to go, Wiley. Um, let me see if it's uh, let me see if it's locked up here. Uh oh! I can't get my arms. Stop it! Man. I know, dude. I can't get my my manly arms. In. Oh no, it's not. It's good. You turned the whole crank. Listen, I don't play games, dude. Did you weed is this more? Do it again. <laughs> There's something missing out of the top of this. I don't know what is that. Um, what's that's the, some kind of uh, some kind of something. I bet you that's some kind of RPM thing. Uh, okay. Is that thing like turn? See if you can turn it. Tachometer or something. No. Okay. All right. Cool. I don't know what it is then. Well, let's um let's check the oil on this thing. Actually, let me look at the coolant level. Oh yeah, it's got some in it. Yep, sure does. Hey, what's that right there? It's an oil reservoir. I wouldn't have thought they'd had power steering back then. That's why I made the comment. I was like, they just, it looks like they might have made that. Made an add on? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't hear your comment. You say so much, I, I can't. Well, it it's, takes it's, a long it's time. hard to listen to me sometimes. It's like a computer overload. <laughs> oh Lord. I believe this thing's gonna fire right up. We're gonna put hot batteries on it, Wiley. That Let's, uh, Let's check the oil in, buddy. Man, that thing, that thing's making some oil right there <laughs> so now. I'm telling you Look what. Good Lord. Put some of that in a jug. And... Yeah. Let's sell it to sell Apex. It? Let's, what are you looking for? Let's call Apex. We can sell this. Right there. Where? Right there. A rag right there. Is that what you're looking for? That's what I was looking for. What you hear? Wow, that's a lot of oil. That, that might need changing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's Maybe. been changed since it's left the city of Bainbridge. So this is, we'll call it a 66 mile. I'm guessing 66. How old was you in 66? Man, dude, I was just a Oh, pole. yeah. Oh, that's much, that much gooder, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. wonder why it was up like that, though. I, I guess when it was changing the tire, it might have mm, yeah, true. fell off the jack. True. Let's see what kind of fuel we got in this situation. Oh, that didn't sound good. Get my old light out. Ooh, Wiley. Where's that Hamiltonville Farm fuel gauge at? There's a good one right there. Oh, yeah. Let 
man, I'm telling you what. See, that's what's nice about nature. The oak tree gives us a... <laughs> that's right. The oak, the nature gives and nature takes away. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not looking good for the home team. Ooh. Golly, Wally, that thing ain't been cranked in 10 years. It's red, too, in it? Man, there ain't much in it, dog. Where is it? Right, right there. there? <laughs> All right, Wally. I got a feeling. We put some batteries on it. I've got a feeling. <laughs> Tonight's gonna be a good night. Oh, Maybe we could reach out to that band and say, hey, can you sponsor our channel? Uh, something like Black Eyed Peas, I mean. That's right. Hey, why, do you ever, do you eat Black Eyed Peas on New Year's Eve? Uh, I haven't for the last few years. Oh, I've, yeah, is that I've, why you've been down on your I've, luck? No, I've done better, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've done better? Yeah. Is it a stud top or is it round top? Do you know? Round. Is it really? Yep. Well, it actually just shows one. Well, but it's like a couple two together. Yeah. One. Well, yeah, because it's like a big group 31 battery. I think it's a group 31. Ain't that what size them biggins are? No, that's a group 31 you have. In oh, gotcha. I guess, I mean, I'm not good on my battery recognition. You're not good, good on the group thing, are you? <laughs> I don't even like to do group text. You know what I mean? Yeah, so here's this. Oh yeah, grab that and just snatch it. Yeah, out of just there. snatch that thing out of there. Yeah. Look we'll at that the junkyard and get us some. Okay, look here. We're gonna need to get some vice grips, so I'll grab those and well, we got them. Yeah. Okay. We'll hook these bad boys up. All right, Wiley. Look at bad boy up. Look at that. I just assume that this is red is red is hot and yeah. Probably gonna need a hammer. You didn't hear no buzzer, did I you? I did not. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> All right, batteries are hooked up. Those are pretty tight, Wiley. Hank, I tell you what, the gnats are really tough here. Oh my goodness, yeah, they're driving me crazy. It sounds, uh, you know, I don't know if this is one of the, could you imagine the plagues over there with about uh, oh, the Egypt? gnats? Yeah. yeah, man, golly. Hey, let me ask you something. Should we do something with this, you think? That's wet. That's a wet. I understand, but I mean, I wouldn't do anything like a, with they that. call that an oil bath, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't do anything with that. Because right. we're just going to. That's fiberglass right there, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, okay. Because we're just going to gonna crank it, right? You know. Hey, it's going to fire right up too. By yeah. the way, let me go turn that switch on over here. Let me ask you this then: Where will you spray the ether if it needs ether? Where? Right there. Right here on the intake. Oh, okay. Right there. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Not that it's going to need it, but yeah, it'll be all right. All right, let's go. Let me go turn the switch on. It's looking good so far, even though it's been sitting for a while. Leave a comment below if you think it's going to crank. Hey, they didn't waste. Uh, they didn't. They didn't make it driver comfy back in the day, though, did they? No, dude. But I've been looking. I don't see any wasps, so that's good. Well, I wouldn't worry about the wasp. It's that snake skin <laughs> that, that would bother me. You'll get over a wasp bite. That's right. I'm not sure about the other. Okay, I'm gonna turn the switch on, bud. Nothing. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> oh, there it goes. No. It's kind of like some of the jokes you tell. Just wah, crickets. Wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but crickets. That's right. Hey, uh, you can't, they all can't be can you, home runs. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell if it's uh, out of gear or something and maybe just hit the start button to see if it's if we're going to get any uh, fire in the dash? Oh. All right, well, let's see how they've been. I hate crawling under this thing with it sitting on jacks. It might fall and squish me. Yeah, we see over there. Is the starter on that side? Well, it is, and I also see a wire, Wiley. I don't know what it goes to, but look, look here. here. You see that? Oh, yeah. Just right here. I believe oh, it I is. That's what it is. It is. Oh, yeah, it is to the start. That's exactly where it's at. Hey man, I tell you what, they had the key, they had the key and the oil checker right here. I mean, what do you do? Just that's touch it to the hot? Oh. Well, is that why you ground it somewhere? Oh. Just put it to the hot and see. Is that out of gear? Yeah, it's out of gear. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I mean, is that you know, really? You know, on your 
My starter button. You have to have a ground in them. So we must. I'll tell you what. This is a. This high tech. Is that not high tech? <laughs> That's crazy, ain't it? Yeah. Okay. So I guess. Well, let's crank this thing up. I mean, should we? Should I be in there putting fuel? I mean, should I get in there? Or I need just to make sure it's out of gear. It is out of gear. I checked it. Okay. When I, when All right. It. Let's go yeah, with it. Check. Well, what about um, ether? You want to try some ether? Or you just want to try it first and then spin it over and let's see what happens. This is a. This is a. First time in first time in 15, 15 years. years. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I'm gonna need more than one battery. Oh, hey, we built up all that excitement. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. All right, let me just cobble something together here, huh? Yeah. Let me. You want me to get my jumper? Actually, look what we might be able to use. A viewer sent us these. The 12 volt guy. Look at this one. Yeah. He's all right. Yeah, we use the mess out of these things. What you looking for? These heavier duty ones right here. Gonna run them in parallel? Yeah. I'll start. Uh, Where's the other? Uh... I don't have any more. I don't have any more uh, caps. You got it to hell. No, remember the last truck we were at, I was like, you was like, I got some at the house. And well, someone never. No, um, yeah, dude. Something's wrong with your memory. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have enough for the last, the last one we did. All right, let's see if we can get this. Oh, I, I guess I shouldn't be taking that one off, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, we got them. Look here. You make it work. I'll get this one off here. If you got a crescent wrench, you pretty much can do anything, to be honest with you. Yeah. Hey, what other way would you be but honest with me? <laughs> That's right. Hang on, hang on, on. we got to put this Oh, jumpers on it? Yeah. I'm all getting excited. I know I'm getting I excited. Excited. Yeah, it's pretty cool right here. I don't really know how to act with nice stuff though. You know what I mean? Uh-uh. You need some... Yeah, I do. Some vice grip. Right? Use your man hands. Well, I wonder if that made a difference. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, it made yeah. a big difference. That's so crazy. That probably needs ether. Is this thing on a manual? Well, we can tell if it's on a manual or if he's got the uh, fuel pump. Fuel I pump. mean, uh, yeah, yeah, the fuel pump. Fuel pump is what I'm trying yeah. to say. Okay, let's, let's check. Let's play a little ether to it. We'll see if it if it if it won't crank, and we'll know we got to okay, spin the manual ether. down. All right. Hey, did we? You know, on the Mac, we've done the. Uh, the red on the, the see how many times it turned out. I, I, did oh. that turn out or did you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was like four times. Um, the four rotations of the, maybe three, three rotations of the uh, fan belt, you know? Okay. You want to do this one? Well, we don't have a camera for that, do we? Uh, we don't, but we can, now we can set one up. The, I don't know, the viewer, okay. Viewers, listen. We are making a command decision here. We. There's gonna be a bunch of smoke maybe come out of that, pot, that exhaust pipe, but we think we'd rather show you how many times it turned. And then you can ha you can move your camera right. yeah. with that. Okay, so we're gonna make a command decision to move the, the camera over here and draw lines on it. All right. I think they get a kick out of this. Can you get on the fan hub, Hank, instead of the worst? Th this one right here? No, 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 the very front one toward the fan. Right yeah, the belt's closest to the fan. Don't let go right to the crank. I guess, I don't know. Yeah. I think that I think they get a enjoy seeing how many times it 
I mean, I hope so. I hope you guys like it. <laughs> they might be like, no, we don't want to see that garbage. Let's see if that works. No, Hank, my bad. I, I don't guess it matters. I thought that was one that, this thing's sitting at such an angle. It is crazy. Yeah. Oh, no. What's, no. The, what's the crankshaft turning on? A pulley. Oh, gar, 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 gar. I'm trying to give these a little dab of do you. Let's see, okay. give it a little bit. Ready? All right, here we go. Wow. There's no way, dude. There's a hole in the bottom. There's, there's no way. There's no way that cranked up like that. Pretty good and cool. Look at this air. Here you go. That's a huge. I mean, that's an old gas. Pressure gauge. Air pressure. I hear air leak too. Let's uh, let's figure <laughs> out how to dump. Hey, I got five gallons, Wiley. Let's pour five gallons in it and try to dump this thing. All right. I, I can't believe how e if, if it started that easy, it's gonna dump, dude. Well, it just ran out of fuel too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We'll pour five gallons in it. That's, uh, Wiley. Hey. Man, dude, that was nuts, dude. It was. I like them when they're there at easy, really. I mean, seriously, hot batteries. Well, I mean, they're going to crank, they crank. I just don't, that getting under them. And, I bet there's 30, I bet that fuel that's in it 30 years old. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't you say? I don't, my sniffer don't work like yours. I bet that fuel was 30 years old. No, I'm not kidding, dude. We'll put five gallons in it. I got it, dude. I th you want me to tell you what's funny? Somebody made a comment on a Kenworth video that we had. It's like, you pouring off road diesel on that thing. Ain't got no tires on that truck. Uh, you, oh, you, uh, 10 cents. I know. Crank the choo -choo, choo -choo. All right. Mm. Maybe that ether will prime it back up. What do you think? Hey, has that got a date of manufacturing on the hank, on that uh, tag there? Oh, I bet it does. It's too far gone. No, I might be. If you get the light right, I think it does say 66. Okay. We'll call it 66. All right. We'll call it 66. Now, I'm not a dump truck driver, obviously, but you just pull you pull the PTO and and go or what? Yeah. As far as I know. All right. Let's fire it back up. Hang on, hang, hang on, hang on. <laughs> We're gonna have to give it a little assistance. All right.
feel like a fan or something is on in here. Oh, we didn't have a, I didn't have it shut up. Do what? There wasn't like a, uh, that, that uh, lever for like a kill switch. That wasn't out, was it? Uh-uh. Right. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> We should have put fuel in it. Why didn't we put fuel in it when we started? Because you were too tight. You said that was enough? No, but I didn't think we was going to try to dump it. Oh. Doggone it. That's totally my fault. Shoot. You out of ether too? No, I got another can of ether. All right, ready? Let's try it. keep chugging the ether in it dude it's okay not being our engine you know well wiley that's that's my fault dude you know i joke around about being tight and stuff but to be honest with you i thought the ether would would prime it back up me too so my that's totally that one's on me dog hey if you're looking for a 1966 rio with a cummins engine in it that needs to be all it needs is priming is a rio <laughs> not a diamond rio yet no, the tax had Diamond Rio in it okay. on the door. Okay. Diamond Rio Truck Company. This thing's pretty cool, dude. This piece I think of history. Rio was the first, and Diamond went together and made uh, the Diamond Rio. You're going. You're going. To... I'll, yeah, I'll mention. I'll, I'll say something about that in the history. If you go back and watch, if you if you fast forwarded at this part, and you missed the history lesson, I would talk a little bit about the Diamond Rio. But my assumption is that Rio started out as a coal company and had so much financial pressure that they turned into a diamond. Or either Diamond Coffee Company made so much money selling coffee they bought Rio. <laughs> don't coal don't coal make diamonds? Under pressure? Under pressure. Dun 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 dun. That's track number six on our greatest hit album. How, that's awesome that you knew that that song title was Under Pressure, by the way. Because most people think it's uh, uh, Vanilla Ice. <laughs> no, Vanilla Ice goes doom 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 doom. There's right. nothing similar about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's an easy bass line to play. You need to learn how to play bass, Wiley. So we can jam out. Actually, you need to learn how to play the guitar, then I can play the bass and we can jam out together. We hey. play mechanic all the time, so playing I mean, yeah. bass should be easy. Yeah, you know what, we're, we're not mechanics and yeah. we're also not singers. I identify as a bass player sometimes That's also. right. Hey, yeah, sorry y'all didn't see it dump. It's obviously not moving, it got no front tires. Sorry you didn't get a chance to see it dump. That's totally my fault, uh, my apologies. Uh, sometimes you just mess up, you know what I mean? A lot of history here. A lot of history here. If you're interested in buying it, my email is hank at Hamiltonville Farm. It was last tagged in 90 in the, for the city government at uh, Bainbridge, Bainbridge, Georgia. If you're interested in buying this old rig, uh, I'll try to do some slow pans around, you know, so you can kind of see what shape it's in. I don't know what the bed, I don't know what the dump bed looks like, but hank at Hamiltonville Farm. Let's see how the bed. Wiley, the bed's in good shape. Just a couple holes. I mean, seriously. Not bad at all. Cool. Hey, let's look at this up here. I, I know a lot of people know what this is. But this right here. Oh, yeah, louvered drill there. Yeah. And yeah. why? What they're for? Yeah, to close up, to adjust it for the airflow in well, yeah. winter, right? Right. You close it off, let your engine heat up. Yeah. You didn't know I knew that, did you? I did not. I mean, 
I'm Every surprised. night again, I, I fool really, you. I'm really surprised I knew what it was. Yeah, that's right. And what a viewer say, no, that ain't what it was, you dummy. <laughs> you big dummy, that's the, that's the, that's the race in lower the hood. That's the, that's the flaps that keeps it on the ground. That's, what do you call that on a race car? Yeah, yeah, the flaps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, listen, send me an email, hankathamiltonvillefarm.com if you want to buy this. You guys take care. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Links for merch and discount codes are in the description box below.